Hey guys, Exile here. I know it's the day before League Start, but we did just get the recently asked questions from GGG, which gave us some numbers on some things. So I did want to share two things with you guys today in this video. The first thing is going to be about Barkskin. Um, it actually looks really, really good for 25% reservation, especially on DD early on. So I will likely end up running it over Tempest Shield. Essentially how it works is you're going to gain one Bark stack if you haven't been hit by an enemy attack recently. And you only lose Bark if you get hit by an enemy attack specifically. Which means you're going to have a high uptime, most likely on a pretty large amount of increased armor. And even if you lose Bark stacks, you're still getting a um, chance to evade. So it's not really even that bad to lose stacks. But the main reason I'm really, really interested in this is if I'm at 10 Bark stacks... I get hit by something that procs my castle damage taken, and then maybe it's an attack and I lose five bark stacks. The castle damage taken was most likely going to be procced when I was at high bark stacks, when I had high armor, so the molten shell is going to be bigger. So you're just going to have a much larger guard skill, and it's going to be way more attractive. I will say the downside of running this is you're going to be a little bit weaker versus spells, which is why I personally am going to wait until Uber Lab, where you get Bastion of Elements for Elementalist. And once I take that, I will probably be using Barkskin for sure. If you're going to run it, you need to run the Minor Pantheon that makes you reduced, or that gives you reduced effect of shock, and maybe even potentially running a Flask as well. On top of that, I will be running a Flask with reduced effect of shock in Hardcore for sure. Um, but yeah, that's like the main reason I want to take it. I do think that later on, you're going to end up using these charms anyway, super late game or like even early late game if you get good ones, just because... I imagine these were going to be huge amount of power. But until then, I'm going to be using Wildwood Blessing, Lesson of the Seasons, and Detect Evil as like my ascendancy points here. The other ones aren't really valuable at all. And yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys about Barkskin. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about is actually some tech that was known about getting some chill on DD. I will say it's probably going to be like the last three or four points on the build in general, but... You can take Glacial Cage here. It works on anything, actually, not only DD. Uh, Glacial Cage here plus the Mastery that gives you chills from your hits, always reduce action speed by at least 10%. You can run this and then run any item with a little bit of cold damage on it. So you have a couple options for that. You can use a Searing Exarch Implicit on Helmet, adds flat cold damage to spells. Um, you can also use a Jewel or any other way, maybe weapon, you get, get it somehow, luckily. And you'll just get some free chill as an elementalist or pretty much anything. Uh, I believe Ventrua's character in his POB got up to 25% chill from this. So it's pretty good. Just thought I'd mention it. But yeah, uh, that's all I got for today. So have a great league start, everyone. Best of luck.